Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is an introduction to ClickSense workshop. ClickSense is a simple yet powerful data visualization tool, has a lot of customizations and it's a really uh, more user-friendly version of, of ClickView, I, I would say is the general consensus. And there's some neat features and functions and there's still some ability to do some uh, customizations, do some SQL queries, It'll look more like some codes or uh, more your traditional business intelligence tool in some sense, and then look more like your user, end user type uh, visualization. But anyways, let's get started. So I've clicked uh, Sense Open, and it's really uh, centered around this concept of creating applications. So here you're going to create a new application. In this case, I'm going to call it And then, so let's create it. So it's, we're going to open the application. Let's give it a second to open. And then here, we're just going to use a quick data loader. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go to my desktop. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, yeah, I don't know how to spell. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to load this PCard transactions. I'm going to let that load. Just letting it load now. And uh, once you have your data loaded, you'll see that you have the opportunity to include or uh, exclude some items if you want to or change header sizes, or change some of these other items, you'll see the different tabs that are in the, the data available. In this case, I'm just going to load it and then the different sources as well. So in this case, I'm just going to load the data. And this is a fairly large data set, uh, maybe 100 or so, 100,000 lines or so, uh, with probably 20 or 30 columns. So it's it's definitely not a small data set and as well I am using a, a desktop as opposed to a server so uh, it is going to take a little bit of time to load. So you'll see here it took uh, 29 seconds to load. Uh, you click on edit sheet and now I have this new sheet and it's called uh, my sheet. Well, I can always go yeah you'll see it's uh, you can create in this case I can I can edit this sheet and then I can you'll see the options here all the different charts um, which I'm going to cover in the next video as well all the different fields and then here you can create some links create some dimensions create some new fields uh, as you see fit some create some new visualizations and these are called master items and as well you can save your file and if you wanted to go and explore another another application you can do so here and uh, it's pretty simple you just need to drag and drop and then add the dimensions but i'll cover that in the next video i look forward to speaking to you next time thank you